Hi, I'm Nate, co-founder of Super Cool Art, and today we're going to be working on a really cool Valentine's Day project for, for my loves. And this comes straight from the, from the heart and costs very little. What we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to make a chalkboard wall and we're going to take and we're going to divide it into fours, kind of in a checker pattern. And uh, we're going to give it a little bit of room at the top and bottom. I've given it about, given it about a foot top and bottom and then six inches on, on both sides. And what this is going to do is going to make the chalkboard wall pop off the wall and uh, make, it, make it look really exciting. So what I've done is I've taken my uh, tape measure and pencil and I've, and I've made tick marks all, all along the sides, all around the frame of, uh, of our, our, our chalkboard wall here. And what that's going to give us is, is just a, a guide for us to come through and lay our tape. And uh, after we've gotten, made the frame here, we've measured it it's 70 inches tall and uh, 66 and a half inches wide. So we've taken that and divided it in half and we've made the tape marks. So basically we've, we have our grid set up to, to lay our tape and to tape everything off. But be mindful, whenever you start to paint, um, you want to keep the, the leading edge of the tape towards the paint and at the very center because it's not going to be, uh, you know, once you lay the tape, it's going to be laid on this way and it's going to be overlapping of where you need to paint uh, on the opposite side. So after you get done painting one side, you're going to have to tape and, and tape it over on the other side. So we have our frame made. Remember that you want to keep the inside edge um, on, on your tick marks, otherwise you're going to be uh, on the other side and you're going to be offset and uh, things are just going to get, get out of whack for you and not look right. So uh, this is all proportional here and what we're going to do is, uh, is we're going to lay our tape um, with the leading edge over and the leading edge towards the top so we can paint this quadrant over here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tape on this side so we can uh, uh, paint this quadrant down the lower left hand side because um, we're going to be overlapping into our, our bottom left and overlapping into the top right. So uh, that's uh, we're going to start out with two colors and then uh, after they dry we're going to paint the rest. Have our two quadrants taped off. Um, if you notice, there's a there's a, a, a difference here, right? So we can't just go all the way from the top clear down to the bottom um, with a, with a continuous piece of, piece of tape. So we're going to have to come and go halfway, halfway, and, and meet in the middle with the other ones. Um, you know what I did is I took and I overlapped all the tapes and uh, I tore off uh, right down the line of this particular tape heading this way and then the one heading this way and I, and I tore off the piece that was heading that way. Um, uh, you know, unfortunately we didn't get on tape. Um, what I'm gonna do is we'll go ahead and uh, get this one painted. I'll show you guys how to do it on the next, next door. So prior to our project, um, we picked out our colors. Uh, we have Meadow Pink, Incense Stick, Eagle Rock, and uh, we went down to our uh, hardware store, picked out the colors that we want, and we're making our own chalkboard paint. You can, you can find the directions and uh, the the recipe on our on our blog on supercoolart.com and uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to take this uh, this neutral color scheme and uh, we're going to have one color that's directly across from one another um, you know we can't get can't get four corners if we only have three colors um, but uh, what you can do is you can get out to your uh, color wheel for, uh, if you've uh, purchased a, a super cool art painting kit or color chart or uh, um, uh, while you're at the, uh, the hardware store, they can, they can help you with that and they have a, just a massive color chart that you can pick all the fun colors that you want to paint your wall with. So, next up, paint. Okay, so now our first two sides are done. Uh, I've went ahead and torn off the tape around the edges because I couldn't wait to see what the finished product's going to look like. I was a little excited. Um, but uh, definitely you need to tear off all the tape around the corner or around each side that you want. Um, 
and uh, then retape it on the opposite side so you can go ahead and paint, paint the, the opposite corners uh, with the colors that you selected. Um, this particular wall is it has knockdown on it and as you can see there's a you know uh, the girls couldn't wait to mark on the wall um, but it makes a little bit of a, a, of a rough rough uh, uh, surface for you to write on which that's fine it gives you a little bit of character um, but if you want something that's slick like a uh, like an actual chalkboard in a classroom um, take a, take your filler um, go ahead and, and, and fill the entire surface that you want to be the want to paint on and then sand it down to where you have a nice nice uh, clean palette to paint on and uh, then then start painting over it but uh, we cho chose to to go ahead and leave the actual texture on the wall just in case that uh, we wanted to go ahead and change this in the future and paint something else on the wall. Um, so uh, now uh, we're going to be ready to paint our opposite corners. So now that we have our second coat on and our paint is dried, we've peeled our tape off and we touched up where we, where we needed to. We have our, our, our neutral color scheme, we have our dark colors, our light colors, and then we have the in-betweens. And as you can see, the chalk really pops off the wall and gives it a little bit of depth. Um, to, to complete your Valentine's Day gift for your loved ones, uh, go to supercoolart.com, uh, find our Peace Love Art uh, uh, stencil kit, or you can actually look at our wall kit. The uh, stencil kit is $14.95, the wall kit is $17.95. Um, when ordering, uh, mention that this is going to be for a chalkboard wall project and we'll throw in some chalk uh, as our, our extra gift to you for Valentine's Day. And uh, to put the finishing touches on, on your project, um, you can go to your, uh, your local uh, dollar store and pick up uh, some inexpensive boxes and gift boxes to put your chalk in and then also uh, maybe maybe even get some other boxes to put some candy and stuff like that in. But uh, the, uh, the, the great thing about our super cool art kits is they come in uh, bright red colorful tubes and, and uh, you really don't have to wrap anything. It's uh, when people get this they, 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 they feel the love right off the bat. Um, so again go to supercoolart.com. We are doing a giveaway. Um, go register, uh, tell all your friends about it. The more friends that you tell, the more entries that you can, you can get entered into our giveaway. Um, we're giving away either a, a Peace Love Art drawing kit or a Peace Love Art painting kit. And uh, like I said, tell, tell all your friends about it. I hope you have a, have a great Valentine's Day and your loved ones really adore the gift that you have to cherish all year.